Hi all. So today we are going to solve the graded assignment 11 of statistics. So week 11 statistics graded assignment. So now there are few questions for us to move ahead. The first question is this is regarding a match. A match predictor claims that we can product the result uh, that he can product the result of a match correctly 77% of the time. So how much perfect he is? 77% of time means 0.77. So what are the chances that he cannot predict? That is 1 minus p which is 0.23. So with this statement itself we are able to draw two inferences. Next, it is agreed that his claim will be accepted if he correctly predicts the result of at least 4 of 8 matches. What? There are 8 matches in total means n. 4 of 8 matches, 4 matches at least, at least 4 means at least 4. So, at least 4 means from 0, 1, 2, 3, we will, we will be able to take the matches. At least 4 matches, 4 of 8 matches. What is the probability that his claim gets rejected? Gets rejected, remember rejected. So, first of all, from the question itself, we could see that the predicted perfect answer is 0 0.77. Unable to predict, let us take it to be Q or also we can write it to be P bar. Nothing, no harm. It is 0 0.23. Now, out of 8 matches, he wants to predict at least 4 matches to be correct. Now, rejected, uh, how many matches? So, always do remember, there is an equation for us where P of X P of x less than m, where m is the no m is the number of the matches, then and we can write that to be is equal to summation i is equal to zero to m minus one m minus one n c i small p P i 1 minus P n minus i. What is this i? This is the ranging. Means now here in the case of m. What is the m? M is m is how many matches? 4 at least 4, or 4 matches. So 4 minus 1 3. So now you write the answer. What will we get? i is equal to 0 to 3. What is n? 8 C I 0 0.77 0 0.77 power I 1 minus P that is 1 minus P is how much? 0 0.23 So you can write the solution 0 0.23 plus 0 0.23 8 minus I here we have n to be 8. So, it is 8 minus i. So, this is the answer for this particular question. <coughs> Always remember whenever the match correctly, the, the entire question is in this statement only in this line. See, 77% he can do means 0 0.77 he is able to predict. So, how much is not able to predict? He is unable to predict 1 minus p that is 0 0.23. So, in this way you need to solve whenever a question is given. Try to always get the most of the answer from the question itself the, by using the values. So here, let us now come, let us come to the next question. It is defined that x is a binomial expression of n p. Okay, n is the number of observations, p is uh, used for expectations and all. Then which of the following statements is or are always correct? So, when x is a binomial expression, we have that a expectation of x is n into p. And variance of x is n p times of 1 minus p. Or we can we generally in our 9th and 10th standards we are you supposed to learn like n p q and n p. So here okay let us take n p times of 1 minus p. Now it is given in the question. It is given in the question that n is greater than 0 and p is lying in between 0 to 1. So that means n p can be greater than n p times of 1 minus p always why why you only tell me p is lying between 0 to 1 and 
that to mine this means this will be in decimal this decimal 1 minus p so 1 minus p that is also with less value that will also lie in between 0 to 1 so 2 times decimal so obviously that is some 0 0.00 something and this is where so in this way np will be greater than np times of 1 minus p so always you can find that what is this np is nothing but expectation expectation is always greater than the variance so your fourth one is true now let's take the third question what it is two friends say a and b could not decide whether to play a racing game or a boxing game on xbox so what happened here racing game they were friends a and b a and b are two friends they were unable to decide whether to play a racing game or a boxing game so they decided to play a card game first if a wins at least three rounds out of seven rounds of the card played how many a is a wins three out of seven means p value let us take it to be p then the boxing game will be played the chances of a winning in any round of the card game is 2 is to 2 what was the ratio the ratio is 2 is to 2 find the probability that the boxing game will be played played on xbox so how you are going to solve this question the ratio is given and already the hint is given that the probability equals <coughs> x by x plus y okay x by x plus y how we are going to do this question similarly here how many number of play rounds of the games are played what is the value of n n is equal to y is equal to 7 games how many games are played n is equal to y is equal to 7 games p of a uh, round of card game probability of winning a round of card game is how much 3 by 7 we have got it now Now we need to do, we, uh, that, uh, there is a formula for this, like, suppose, now we can take that here, x to be a random variable, with bi binomial, uh, binomial variable, n and p, binomial expression, n and v. Now, the probability of the boxing game will be played. So, what it is? Probability of vx less than like the probability of playing the game card game is equal to summation of i is equal to what was the thing what was the ratio it was given to us the ratio is happening of an event is x is to y so we can use the term x is to y in the hint it is given so x to y probability of x is equal to i so, which is nothing but summation of i is equal to x to y, y c i, probability of winning, p of i, 1 minus p of y minus i. So, now substitute the values. What is the probability of winning a game? 3 by 7. Then 1 minus p will be 4 by 7. Here, what is the value? Yeah. So, what is the value? The number of games, there are 7 rounds. So, how we will be calculating them? I is equal to, how we are going to calculate? Summation of I is equal to 3 to 7, okay? 3 to 7, 7 C I, probability of winning is 3 by 7. Or we can also calculate 3 by 7 power I. Then 1 minus 3 by 7 is 4 by 7 power 7 minus 7 minus i. Now, how we are going to do it? How we are going to do it? We will take the, we will expand the expression summation. So, it is like 7, 7 c 3, 3 by 7, 
whole power 3, 4 by 7, whole power 7 minus 3 is 4, plus 7c4, 3 by 7, whole power <coughs> 4, 4 by 7, whole power 3, 7c5, 3 by 7, whole power 5, 4 by 7, whole power 2, 7c6, 3 by 7, whole power 6, 4 by 7, whole power 1, and plus 7c7, 3 by 7 power 7, 4 by 7 power 0. So this would be 1. So while cal if you just sum of them using the calculator given in the examination, you will be getting the range to be 0 0.74 to 0 0.8. So this is how you have done your question. Now, let me change the color. Now, what is the next question? <coughs> if x is a binomial expression of 6p and the probabilities of 4 and 5 successes, successes are 0.2882 and 0.3651 respectively, then find the parameter p of the distribution. How do we find the parameter of the p? The binomial expression is given. What is it given? 6p means n is equal to 6 and p is unknown to us. What are the probabilities? Probability of uh, uh, 4 and 5. So, probability of x is equal to 4 by probability of x is equal to 5 when you do it. What are the values given? 0 0.2882 by 0 0.3651. Now, we need to find the value parameter p of the distribution. How we are going to do it? How we are going to do it? It is easy. Probability of x is equal to 4 though what it is for n is equal to 6. So it is very easy. See substitute here 6c4 6c4 p power 4 1 minus p power 6 minus 4 is 2 by 6c5 p power 5, 1 minus p power 6 minus 5 is 1. So, 0 0.2882 by 0 0.3651. You could see 4, here it goes 4, this goes once. 6 e 4 is what? 6 factorial by 4 factorial, 2 factorial by 6 factorial by 5 factorial, 1 minus p by p. What is the value? times 1 minus p by p is equal to what is the value of 0 0.2882 by 0 0.3651 0 0.2 you can use the calculator given in the examination it is given so it is 0 0.78 0 0.78 93 they have asked for two decimal digits it's okay now 6 factorial 6 factorial gets crossed off then this 5 factor is up. So, 5 by 2 e times. This can also be written as 1 by P minus 1 is equal to 0 0.78. Now, calculate. This one, this goes this side. And what happens? 1 by P minus 1 is 0 0.78 times 2 by 5. 2 by 5. What it is? What is the value? 0 0.78 times 2 divided by 5 is 0 0.32. 0 0.32 and this minus comes the other side and becomes plus. Plus 1.312. Then the value would be 1.312. So 1 by P is. 1.312 when p goes there 1 by 1.312 what will be the value 0 0.76 
So you got your answer to be 0 0.76. 76201. So two digits. So we got the answer to be 0 0.76. Here I have used different colors. So this question doesn't get mixed up with the previous question. Next. What is the fourth, fifth question? If the expected number of sixes hit by hit by a batsman on n balls is 6.39 and the variance very good e x is given for us here look here e x i will change the color now yeah e x is given e x is what expectation what it is given 6.39 v x is given variance is 1.8531 then what is the probability of him hitting at least one six on any randomly selected n balls? Assume that the probability of him hitting a six on any ball is constant. So, So now let us take the question. Expectation of variable is given, variance is given. So x is a binomial expression. So x is a binomial expression with n and p, where p n and p and expectation value is given. So when already uh, we know that the variance is equal to variance of x is what? n p into p 1 minus p so it's nothing but x expectation of x minus times of 1 minus p so what it is we can get what is the variance of x variance of x is 1.8531 expectation of x is 6.39 is equal to 1 minus p what is the value So the value is 0 0.29 which is, is equal to 0 0.29. Now 1 minus p is equal to 0 0.29. So p, p when it comes here it goes there it is equal to 1 minus 0 0.29. This is 0 0.71. So the probability is 0 the value of p is 0 0.71. Now what did they ask us? The value of P is known to us now. And we also know that well, what is the expectation? Expectation is 6.39 N into P. N times 0 0.71. So N is equal to 6.39 by 0 0.71. So we got the value of n to be 9. Now, what is the answer? Is you know, on any ball is constant. How we are going to do? Probability of x greater than or equal to 1 is equal to 1 minus probability of x is equal to 0. Means the probability where it is not at all hitting a ball. Then we get it to be 1 minus So, 1 minus probability of x is equal to 0. Then what will be the value over here? This is the value 1.8. No, just a second. So, here we have got 1 minus look. The probability of P at the value X is equal to 0, which is nothing but 1 minus, 1 minus P is how much? 0 0.29. It doesn't occur. Par 9. Then when you just 